say this is lonely country. Lonely as anything in the West. Well, that's all right with me. A man of my business is mostly lonely. Even in the towns. I'm a troubleshooter for hire. Riding from one job to another. In my work, I sometimes have to be with people. And who ever heard of a roughneck having friends? At least no town ever sent out a big brass band to welcome me. Some fool bushwhacked me coming down the trail. Knocked him clear out from under me. Yeah, too bad. Lucky he didn't hit you, though. Been a real loss to the territory, Mr. Slade. Yeah, we met someplace, old-timer? Not as I remember. But I know who you are. Shotgun Slade. My name's Hack. Hackberry's the whole of it. Own the Hack Mine over the hill apiece. You used to own the Missouri a long time ago. Missouri? Yeah, the mine that was salted. That's why you're here, ain't it? I see Batson's been shooting off his mouth. Batson? Uh, A.S. Batson. Man had sent for me. <laughs> oh, him, yeah, he's a big talker. Well, least I can do is offer you a lift into town, eh? But uh, Hannibal here, well, he can't carry both of us. Uh, it wouldn't be sociable for me to ride while he was walking, so you just throw your saddle up there and we'll stroll along together. All right, here. Maybe I can uh, kind of tell you a couple of things you might like to know. Well, can't lose on that deal. Yeah, I've never seen a gun like this. Barrels don't match. What's a small one for, squirrels? A buffalo, mountain lion, bear, and sometimes. It's a rifle barrel. <laughs> That's the darndest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you get them coming and going, can't you? They sure like to get me a gun like that. <laughs> yeah, come on, Hannibal. Where'd you buy it? No, I didn't. I made it myself. Guns are a kind of a hobby with me. Oh. I need them in my business. You can't be carrying a lot of guns around with me all the time. I call this a uh, two for one. Yeah, I can darn near carry my pocket. I need a gun right quick. Shotgun for close work, rifle for distance. Sure is pretty. That's pretty handy. Well, thanks for the lift, Hack. Uh, don't mention it. If you need me for anything else, I'll be in the Rocky Mountain Saloon up there. That is, uh, until they throw me out. Yeah, that old Hannibal, yeah, he takes me back to the Hack. I don't stray very far. That's the Batson place. I gotta go up to see Batson. Uh, shotgun? Give my regards to Mr. Batson. Yeah. Why didn't you use a battering ram? Then I wouldn't have had to open it. Well, if I'd have known you were on the other side, I might have. May I come in? Please do. Not that it really matters, but who are you? The name is Slade. 
And I'd like to get my hands on A.S. Batson. That's the nicest proposition I've had all day. <laughs> I am A.S. Batson. You? But that letter... You write like a man. That's for business. Other ways, I'm all female. You certainly are. And I might have known it. Known what, Mr. Slade? That only a female would run around town blabbing all her business. I see you have an unpleasant side to your nature, Mr. Slade. Oh, you'd be surprised at how unpleasant I can get when somebody tries to kill me. What? A couple of miles outside of town. And somebody's gonna answer for a pretty fair little horse. I'll buy you a new one. Oh, you'll do better than that. Maybe I will. I always say business first. If you're so sure Mike Oliver swindled you on that mine, you need a lawyer, not a detective. I need proof before I can get a lawyer, something that'll stand up in court. Sit down. I want two things, Mr. Slade. I paid Mike Oliver $40,000 for that worthless hole in the ground, and I want my money back, every penny of it. But that's not enough. I want Mike Oliver in jail for just as long as I can put him there. Ah, well, you really hate when you get worked up to it, don't you? Don't you? All right, where is this Mike Oliver? Under a rock? Oh, my, no. He has an office right across the street. Mr. Oliver is a solid citizen in this town. That's another thing that makes me angry. I'm a newcomer and a woman, and that's two points against me right there. I don't like that kind of a deal. Well, you're a woman, all right. I'll do what I can. I could have told you he wasn't there. All right, where is he? Would your name by any chance be slain? I asked you a question first, miss. Well, you'll get no answer from me. I suppose that bachelor woman Look, miss, I you... came here to talk to Mike Oliver, not to you. Well, I'm probably making a mistake. I bet he isn't half as pretty. Now, do you want to tell me where he is? Or do I have to sit around here all day until he comes back, huh? Well, you're likely to have a long wait. Well, I didn't leave town, did he? No, he didn't leave town. He's not a crook, and he didn't salt that mine. Hold on, now. Now, you get out of here. You go find him yourself. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> oh. Say, when's the wedding? What are you talking about? Well, you and Oliver. No secretary ever well, stood up for a boss like that unless she was... Well... Hey, what is this? He's my father. Oh. That's twice today, I guess, wrong about a lady. Well, now you know. Hey, would you slap me again if I kissed you? Well, I suggest you ask my father about that. He's right next door at the Rocky Mountain Saloon. I'll just do that. Fine-looking girl. Makes a man a wonderful wife someday. For a stranger, you talk mighty free about a girl. Now, Joe. 
I want to talk to you, Oliver, about that salt of mine. The one I'm getting sick and tired of these lies and accusations. Now, hold on, Oliver, hold on. We can talk friendly like. Oh, we can fight. Makes no difference to me which. Mister, I don't know who you are, what your game is. I said my name is Slade, and I'm in the detective game. You're the man that Batson woman brought here. That's right. Now, she claims you swindler out of forty thousand dollars, Oliver. <laughs> Solid the Missouri. It wasn't me. Yeah. I share the damages. Hey, your boss said no. I see you've been getting acquainted. Why didn't you tell me Batson was a woman? <laughs> you're, you're the detective, Mr. Slade. Besides, we don't have much fun around here but once in a while, and uh, I don't aim to spoil that once in a while. Miss Batson, uh, tell you how she found out the mine was sorted? No, she didn't. I was the one that told her. In fact, I showed her how it was done. Yeah, maybe you'll tell me how someday, huh? Yeah, it'd be a pleasure. So what's the big fellow Joe's name? Thompson. Big Joe Thompson. Big to marry Oliver's daughter. Oh. You wouldn't have a few dollars you'd like to invest in a fellow what feels the big strike is coming on, would you? No, thanks, Hack. I'd much rather invest my money in a crooked poker game. At least there you got a fighting chance. <laughs> a fight never solves anything. I tried to find Oliver that afternoon, but he disappeared. Miss Batson said the mine was salted. Oliver said it wasn't. You could take your choice. Now, the next morning, it seemed like a pretty good idea to take a look for myself. Come out to visit the old homestead? What are you doing here? Snooping, and you? Where's Joe? Oh, is Joe here? Well, he went into the mine about a half an hour ago. Did he now? Mr. Slade. Yes? We've been looking for my father since early this morning. Mr. Shotgun. Back. Where'd you come from? My diggings are right next door. Ellen? Mr. Hack. We're looking for Mike Oliver. Well, here? Thought he'd seen enough of this place. Come on. You wait here.
Hi, Dogman. Mr. Hi! Girl. Joe, where are you? Helen, stay out of here. What? You better come with me. 